Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this Halloween tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to be this mystical dead mermaid siren of the sea. So I'm going to show you how to do the outfit, the crown, the makeup. If you guys are interested, please keep watching. So for the mermaid skirt, you're going to take one yard of fabric and wrap it around your waist and safety pin it in place. As you see me doing here, and that is kind of what it's going to look like in the back. So now you're going to make a V along the front of the skirt and safety pin. This is where you're going to cut the V. So we're just taking off the skirt and now we're going to cut alongside and then once you get about halfway you're going to make like a scallop edge so it looks more like waves on the back of the skirt rather than just a straight cut V as you see here. So now we just flip it around and this is what the mermaid skirt is going to look like. Don't even bother stitching it or anything. A safety pin is totally fine for this Halloween costume. Just be sure to wear shorts underneath and you're totally fine. So moving on, we're going to grab our fabric that's going to be like the fin part of the skirt. Be sure that it's like a lighter weight fabric. Tool works great. Mine's like a lighter weight something or other, like an iridescent that I just thought was super mermaid. So I'm just getting my thread and needle and doing a running stitch throughout and as I'm stitching I'm actually gathering that way it forms more of a ruffle pleating effect. So we're going to do this all the way through. I started with the two front fins so like those will be shorter pieces and then as you work alongside the back end they are going to gradually get longer. So I'm just working all the way through pleating gathering and just stitching the running stitch all the way through. As you see they have a lot of pleating and this is what the two front ends are going to look like and I just did that all the way around and you can see here how the middle is a lot shorter than the two ends. So for the skeleton portion of the skirt, what I did was Google mermaid skeleton and I just kind of copied the bone structure onto a piece of paper first. You only need to draw one side of it. Then we're going to trace the bones onto felt. So we're going to fold the felt in half. That way we get both sides of the bones matching. So that's what I'm doing here and then I'm going to cut. So you are left with all these little bone pieces and we are going to then use fabric glue to glue them onto our already made skirt. So I'm just gluing everything down, pressing them into place and then letting them dry and then you will end up with your skirt looking something like this. So for the top, I just took an existing crop top that I had in my wardrobe and then I purchased two giant white shells from Michaels and I'm just hot gluing them down and that is it for the top. I mean you can definitely decorate your shells if you want with glitter, get creative, but I decided to just leave mine plain Jane. For the mermaid crown, I just ended up picking up a kid's crown from the Dollar Tree and also some shells from the Dollar Tree to decorate. I also found these little like ornaments in the Christmas section at the Dollar Tree that kind of looked like seaweed so I ended up using that. So here I'm just decorating everything. Get creative with this part for sure. You can have so so much fun with this. So I just used bedazzled trim just to jazz up my starfish and then I also am mixing these two paints together to get a gray and just make it a little more spooky since this is a dead mermaid. So I'm just painting my shells with this gray color and then sprinkling them with some glitter and adding some pearls for ocean life. This is your chance to really have fun with it and get creative. Anything goes in this part for sure. Once you have everything to your liking, you can start hot gluing the shells and anything else that you might have to your crown. Here is a seaweed ornament that I found and I just kind of used it to give it more of like a triton looking effect. So just secure everything into place and you are left with this gorgeous mermaid crown. So moving on to the makeup portion of this costume, I am just putting white Halloween paint makeup all over my face. It's like a creamy based makeup. So I'm just blending all of that 
all over until it's like somewhat smooth it definitely doesn't get perfect because it's like a cheaper brand but I mean I'm still looking a little pale right so now I'm going in with a Mac red burgundy type of color and just putting that all over my lids as well as under my lash line and then going over on top with a more iridescent type of shade to give it some mermaid quality about it I don't know <laughs> and taking that black Halloween makeup and putting them around my eyes so I have that sunken skeleton look and then I'm going to take some eyeliner and create cheekbones as well as frown lines. Now I am creating that skeleton nose so it's like two little peaks and then the rest of your nose is like filled in black so I'm just outlining First with a liquid eyeliner and then I'm going to fill it in with that same Halloween black paint that I have. Next I'm taking a brown shade and just shadowing all of the lines so it looks a little more dead and has some depth to it. And then going in with the black shadow as well and just kind of smudging those lines out. For the skeleton mouth, I am using a liquid eyeliner and just creating these lines. Next, taking a purple grayish liquid lipstick and putting them all over my lips. And then I'm going to get this iridescent purpley glitter and pat that right in the center of my lips and then going in with the same eyeshadow that I used on my eyelids and putting them again on the center of my lips. I'm getting that iridescent purple glitter and patting them around my eyes just so it has that iridescent mermaid feel to it. And now I'm just doing the skeleton on my neck and that is it for my makeup. For hair, I went with this light pink wig that I already had. So that is it guys for this Halloween tutorial. If you did like it, please give it a like below. I would super, super appreciate it just so I can get some kind of feedback. And also, if you guys recreate this costume, I would love, like absolutely love to check it out. So please tag me on Instagram or, um, which I'll leave here, tag me on Instagram or direct message me or whatever. I would just love, love, love to see it if you do recreate this costume. So thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!